Is that the Big Bang Burger mascot? <sighs> That's just a bloke in an alien's costume. Alien disguised as a human, disguised as an alien. Oh, these things are good. That kid is not an alien. Would you stop pointing your gun at him? Look. You sure? Because I never saw a man so mad for meat. And I grew up along our nation's storied buffet belt. All right, let's get him back to the med bay and see what we can find out. Well, hey, this stays with me until after we talk to the alien. Careful, careful. On my planet, there are plants that can literally liquefy you. Also, ones that can sing, which I guess is besides the point, but... Gary, what did I say about talking? Uh, well, I believe your precise word was don't, but, uh, I sense nuance in your tone. Huh. I guess I'm not the only intelligent life form on this planet. Wait, 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 we, we don't know what's in there. It could be a, a privilege, which is kind of like a like a half jaguar, half snake thing, or or an apterok, which is also half jaguar, half snake, but opposite Gary, parts. Or... It's not like I haven't faced aliens before. Oh, who the blazes are you? Right back at you. Wait, are you human? Not just any human. It's the Queen of Diamonds, Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Big fan. The scan confirms the subject's biology is 100% human. <sighs> Look, his biology might be human, but I'm still feeling strong alien vibes. Well, if there is something in there, the divination of horse should do the trick. It extracts all unwanted influences, giving you face time with whatever's in it. So you just rattle off this hooey and magic stuff happens? Yeah, that's right. Hawk, Carmen, Connie. <laughs> Don't finish that sentence. Not unless you want to summon a trickster prawn. Yeah, I'd like to see a prawn get one past me. Let's get this over with. All right. Thank you, Annie. In thy team, baby. Oh! That's some high grade hooey. Wait a second. I think I've seen this stuff before. Is that. Big Bang Burger secret sauce? Wait, don't, don't touch that. And definitely don't eat it. Why would I eat it? That's the alien. That's the alien. Well, you mean they're charging 25 cents extra to eat an alien? That's kind of a bargain, really. I mean, that's why I was hearing it all over town. Because everyone's got it in them. An extraterrestrial parasite. Driving this town to eat itself alive. Okay, okay, okay. So if that parasitic condiment is the alien, fine. Then that means you can talk to it. Th that's not how it works. Will you just try? Sarah's one day closer to dead, and your plans to hunt Mayo. Thank you so much for the constructive feedback, Mick. It's very helpful. Let me you, honey, why I love you so. Guys, listen to me. Can I take your order? I need you to stop serving those burgers, bottle up all that secret sauce, and bring it back to the ship. The sauce is the alien. It's like a parasite. It infects people and makes them crave more meat. And here I thought my short shorts were selling burgers. Oh, it's like that old movie, The Stuff, except with aioli instead of ice cream. Sorry. Okay. Oh, we got a problem. We got all the sauce out of here, but it turns out there's a lot more of this stuff. Bert says his wife makes the sauce at their house. Okay, well, if we find it all, then Spooner should be able to talk to it. I'll head there now.